G'day guys, how are we going? Well, we're just in the Jamison area here at the moment and um, we're going to do a few tracks and wind our way over towards uh, Running Creek. We're going to probably camp over there somewhere tonight. I'm going to turn off um, the Jamison Road just up here shortly. And uh, first track of the day will be Stoney's. Stoney's Creek track. Good track straight off the uh, main road here. Then we'll wind our way through, get onto Mitchell's and fantastic country. I haven't been here for a while, so looking forward to this. It's going to be a great trip out. Stoney's Creek track. It's a good drive. Nice little drive. Seasonally closed track. This whole trip we're going to do over the next couple of days is all seasonal closed areas, so you can only do this when the tracks are open. Good drive straight away. Now that was close. Coming out on Steiner's Road there now. Um, that was not a bad little day out there. So now we're going to head up here to Running Creek. Uh, we're going to find a spot to camp in here tonight. Down on the uh, Huckle River. Very nice camp spot. So we're going to find a spot to camp up and get a fire going, kick back, relax, and unwind after a cracking day. Been fantastic. <laughs> This is a really nice spot to camp on the Harker River.
We'll cross the river and find a camping spot on the other side. This is a top spot to set up camp for the night. The good old camp oven. I'm roasting up a small piece of lamb for my dinner. Ah, just have a go at that. Roast lamb in a wrap. How good are they? Simple, but geez, they taste good. spot there, Running Creek just camped on the other side of the main area that's over the other side over there. Beautiful spot there, right on the Harker River. Uh, now we're going to take on a pretty so decent sort of a drive today. We're going to do three chain track now. This is a seasonal closure track again. Um, but this is a great drive, I've only ever done it once and this is a good day, good good track. So it takes a few hours and then we'll get across, uh, finish it up over the other side of um, over Mount Buller Road. Um, so yeah, it's a good drive. We're in for a good day out. This is going to be great.
Seeing a windscreen on the side of the track is never a good sign. check it out but this is a good drop off here first gear low range getting these reduction gears work an absolute treat especially in country like this just fantastic great drive Track like this, keep your vehicle you know, in a straight line coming down that hill as much as you possibly can. The last thing you want to do is go get it all crossed up on a track like this. Then you go, know, you've got potential for rollovers and that sort of thing. So keep it in that straight line as much as you possibly can. And then you've got a fair chance of getting it down alright, picking those right lines, try and keep those tyres on the ground. First gear low range, beautiful. How you going back up there, mate? All good? Yeah, mate. This is why I paid for reduction gears. It's bloody great. <laughs> there you go. There's another one advocate for reduction gears. He's got the same setup. What a cracker of a truck. <laughs> yeah, Steve's got the same setup as mine, 42%. They are absolutely magnificent.
this up section on this three chain track. It's a great track to drive. So many good up sections on it, but depending where you go, they'll be all down sections if you're coming the other way. But uh, oh, great fun track. It's not hard to see why it's a seasonal closure. Free chain here. This is a great track fitting, and we're now coming out onto the Harper track. Which, uh, if we turn right down here, that'll take you down into beautiful campground there and sheepyard flat on the Harper River. But this is look, this has been an absolutely great trip. Good couple of days. We started over there in Jamison up over the top, down into Running Creek where we camped there last night. Beautiful spot down there on the river, and then straight into it first thing this morning within you know four or five hundred meters from camp. We're into it. Absolutely a great drive, fantastic fun, heaps of fun. So, come the end of it now, gonna wrap this trip up and see where the next one goes. Got a couple of ideas where it's gonna be. But uh, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a heap of fun. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you guys on another one of Tim Bates' Ball Drive Ventures. Thanks very much, see you guys.